In Pittsburgh this season, excitement comes under a new trademark, Steeler 72. And those concerned with the image were anxious to show the Kansas City Chiefs what it all meant. It means new enthusiasm for the game, a 6-2 record, and a now mature young quarterback named Terry Bradshaw with his rifle crack right arm. But this Bradshaw hot shot was cut off by number 46 Jim Kearney as the more experienced chief defense cooled down the fire of Steelers 72 and took a 7-0 halftime lead. In the past, this was a cue for the patented Pittsburgh fold-up. But this year, the young bucks in gold and black have felt the spirit of Steelers 72, and they do believe. Terry Bradshaw believes. And this year, he seems to be surrounded with new converts. Especially devout is first year running back Franco Harris, number 32. But the Steelers' second half revival was not confined to the attack. Kansas City's vaunted offense of the 70s could not get untracked against Pittsburgh's swarming ball hawkers. Hawking a ball requires emotion. Whomever wants it the worst usually gets it. A swarm of black shirts wanted this one very badly. Linebacker Jack Ham recovered two chief fumbles and provided field position for the folk hero of Steeler 72. Jarella's gorillas include all Pittsburgh fans who can relate to a thin little man who does nothing more than swing his right leg to earn a living. Number 10, Roy Jarella sent his gorillas into ecstasy with three second half field goals. The last a career best from 49 yards out. Jarella is living the dream of a four second field goal kicker. Two years ago, the Houston Oilers cut him outright. Today, he's the leading scorer on a championship contender. Durella's much appreciated contribution to the cause gave Pittsburgh a 9-7 fourth quarter lead with nothing left to do but grind up the clock. Franco Harris did that all right, and along the way, he ground up a few would-be Kansas City tacklers in one of the most amazing performances of this or any other year. Harris's powerful strides took him 134 yards, the fourth time in five games he's gone over the 100-yard mark. So far, Steelers 72 has been an unqualified success. The 16-7 victory over Kansas City left Pittsburgh in a position they've not held since 1947. Seven and two and all alone at the top of their division.